What's up guys, this is Rajat, welcome to my channel Traveler Photographer and as I promised earlier in today's video I'm gonna tell you how you can convert your raw images into JPEGs in one go like you know batch processing. So this tutorial is gonna be how to batch convert your raw images into JPEGs using Adobe Photoshop. So this is a very useful tip that I learned in my early days of photography once i was out on a shoot and i mistakenly i had my camera raw settings on but i didn't want to click the photos in raw because i had to convert the photos before i can share it with my friends so this is a quick tutorial on how you can batch convert your raw images into jpegs using adobe photoshop so let me just jump right over it i have this 15 raw photos in a folder named as raw if you're gonna convert this one by one using Adobe Photoshop, it's gonna take you some time. So there are two things that you can do in Photoshop. I'm gonna start my Photoshop. I have Adobe Photoshop 2017 version, but uh, any version would work fine for you. So open your Photoshop, go to File, go to Script, and click on Image Processor. In this window, you have to first select your source, and second is to select your target. And third is the file type so i've already selected source as raw folder as you can see it's on my desktop all the raw files are in my raw folder as you can see here the second is i'm gonna save in the same location you can actually create a folder as well or you can specify some target folder as well third step is to save as file type jpeg i'm gonna select as jpeg and quality is by default is 5 which is very low quality I'm gonna keep it as maximum for now and the maximum is 12 if you have been using Photoshop you would know the maximum quality is 12 for a JPEG fourth step is preferences and it says run action so if you have any uh, action specified by you in Photoshop you know like Vignet or any of these settings then you can apply the same setting to all the photos to be processed in one go I'm gonna keep it as off for this and before we hit run there is one more thing i, I want to show you the, the option is called open first image to apply settings so what this does if you want to process the first image and apply this all the same settings to all your remaining images you can do that by using this option if you turn it off all the photos will be processed like as is and there will be no post processing nothing will be performed on on the images i'm going to show you what this thing does so i'm going to keep it on and hit run so it's gonna open the first image in the folder for me to process and apply the same settings to all the remaining photos in the same folder so I'm gonna post process this photo for some setting and I'm gonna do some really harsh processing so that the changes are visible in, in the remaining photos as well when you're done post processing your first image just click on this open image button don't click on done don't click on cancel but click on this open image button what this will do, this will open the first image, apply the same setting and it will one by one open all the remaining images in the same folder and apply the same settings on the images. I'm gonna quickly forward this video for you. As I see here, Photoshop has converted all the images and if we go to the folder, we have a new folder called as JPEG. And as you see, the, the white balance is, you know, really harsh as um, as we set up while doing the first first photo. So this means all the photos have been post-processed in one go from RAW to JPEGs and using the same setting we applied on the first photo. I hope you like my video. If you do, hit like, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to post some more cool videos on photography, Photoshop, post-processing and also on my travelogs. Alright guys. See you in the next video.